Hello, and thank you for joining me for practice today. My name is Julia. Let's get started in a comfortable seat, simple cross-legged position like this, if that's available for you. Feel free to find a different position that serves you better if this one is not okay for your body today. Make sure that you have a yoga prop, uh, looking for one or two blocks or anything that resembles this size and shape that's a household and it doesn't have to be a yoga block. Once you're all ready, join me here and we'll close the eyes and just take a couple deep breaths together before we get moving. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Purposeful breathing is what we're hoping to find here. Concentrating all of your energy and your attention on the breath hoping to release any distracting thoughts from the mind as a way to allow yourself to feel totally and completely present here. Allowing the breath to be the tool that guides us to this meditative state we're hoping to create a moving and breathing meditation to experience with our bodies. Let's bring hands together in front of the heart. We'll chant the sound of Om together one time to begin practice. Join with me if you can. Take a deep breath in. tabletop. Bring yourself to hands and knees. Shoulders come over the wrists and hips come over the knees. And we'll find a few movements of cat and cow just to wake the spine up a little bit here. As you inhale, bring your belly down, lift your head up and find cow pose. As you exhale, round the back and squeeze your belly, find cat. Good, and again, inhale, cow pose, stretch yourself long. And exhale, cat pose, round the back, squeeze the belly. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, big stretch. And exhale, round the back, squeeze in. Inhale, find a neutral position with the spine. Plank pose, exhale, walk one foot back and then the other. Feet are apart, pressing through all parts of your hands. Creating some strength here in the belly and legs. Try not to collapse, hips lined up with the shoulders if you're able. Take a deep breath in, downward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips high. And take any little movements that feel good to you. Depending on your body, you might prefer a shorter stance or a longer stance in your down dog. Don't hesitate to rearrange the feet. Heels do not have to touch the floor here, but take any little movements that help stretch out the legs. Maybe briefly pedaling one heel down, then the other, and then eventually finding your way towards stillness here. Strong in the legs, strong in the belly. Breath is really steady through the nose. Bring your feet slightly closer together just for this moment. And as you inhale, take your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee and take a little bit of an opening here through the hips. Left heel stretches even closer to the mat. Try to let this hip opening come just from the hips. Right shoulder and left shoulder, same distance from the floor. Take a deep breath in, open a little wider. Exhale, both feet find the floor. Try that on the other side. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, big bend in the knee, opening up here through the hips. Right heel is melting down. Let that left knee open wide. Try not to adjust the shoulder. Shoulder same distance from the floor on either side. Big breath in. Exhale, both feet to the mat. Taking your feet back to their traditional down dog stance about as wide as your hips. Setting even more weight into the feet. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale to look forward, stretch up high to the tips of your toes, and exhale, walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. Bring yourself into a forward fold position. Bring your feet together here if you can. As you inhale, lift halfway, 
Gaze forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down, drop your head. Inhale to rise, stand all the way up, arms reach high. And exhale, arms by your sides. Let's begin with our sun salutations. Surya Namaskara A, inhale, arms reach high. And exhale, fold forward, head comes down. Inhale, lift your head, gaze forward, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga, lower your body. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Five big breaths, inhale. And exhale. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, walk or hop forward. Halfway lift, gaze forward. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up, arms reaching high. And exhale, arms by your sides. We'll do it again. Inhale, arms reach high. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Again, five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, walk or hop, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up, reach high. And exhale, arms come by your sides. Good, let's do one more. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. You can have your knees bent here if you wanted. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Knees could be on the mat if you need. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, walk or hop, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up high. And exhale, arms by your sides. A few rounds of our sun salutation B. Feet should be together, big bend in the knees. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Keep your belly strong. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, inhale, rise. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five slow breaths. One. Two. Three. 
3 4 5 inhale walk or hop halfway lift exhale fold forward big bend in your knees inhale reach up high exhale legs straight arms come by your sides twice more bend the knees inhale reach up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog Right foot steps, inhale, reach high. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, inhale, rise up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. One, two, three, four, five, inhale, walk or hop, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Knees bend. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, legs straight. Arms come by your sides. Good. Let's do that one more time. And the knees inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward, inhale, rise up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, inhale, rise. And exhale, chaturanga. Keep breathing. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time we'll hold here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, walk or hop, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Bend into your knees, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, legs straight, arms come by your sides. Very nice, let's take the feet apart. About hips width distance, folding forward. Hold your big toes first and middle fingers wrap around the big toes. Take a deep breath and head up. Exhale and fold, chin towards the chest. We'll hang for a few moments here. See if you can just find some length through the back of the body. At the same time, front body stays really active. Frontal leg strong, low belly active here. Lean a little bit into the toes, one more breath. Inhale, head lifts up. Exhale, weight here. Padahasasana, bring your hands under your feet, palms facing up if you're able. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, fold. Come in a little bit deeper. And same idea, right? Working legs towards straight. If your legs are straight, feel free to bend the elbows. Take your forward fold a little deeper. Keep that front body strong. Lean into those toes. Two more breaths here. And one more breath here. Inhale, lift up your head. 
exhale, weight here. Release your hands, stand slowly, inhale. Arms are by your sides and your feet are together as you exhale. Good, let's continue. Inhale, reach up high and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plank pose, step back. Really strong here through the core, really strong here through the legs and the shoulders. If you can, bend your elbows, drop both forearms to the mat at the same time. Bring your hands together, palms are touching, and see if you can really be active here through the core. Inhale, push forward to the toes. Exhale, sink back into the heels. Again, inhale forward, exhale back, that's two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Lean to the left side, side plank, left arm down, right arm up. Flex through your feet, gaze up, breathe five, four, three, two, one. Both forearms down, try the other side. Right forearm down, left arm is up. Feet are stacked if you can. Gaze is lifted, breathe five, four, three, two, one. Both forearms down, stay with it. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Hands are apart, feet are apart. Dolphin pose. Find some strength here in the belly. Gaze forward, look at your hands. Take a little bend in the knees, push into the hands, elbows lift, downward facing dog. And if you were a little forward of your mat like me, walk yourself back so that you have enough space here on your mat. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Do that again, big inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, bring knee towards your nose. Step forward, it's warrior one. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. And hang for a few moments here. If you're able, see if your palms can touch together overhead, keeping some stamina here in those shoulders. Low belly strong, take a deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two, open your arms. See if you can bend a little bit deeper through that front leg. Gaze is over that front middle finger. Keep sending weight into the back foot. Both legs are active here. Just another breath, hang tight. Inhale, legs are straight. Exhale, hands come to the waist. Turn your right foot in. Feet are parallel with each other. Take a deep breath in and fold. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Inhale, here, head is up. Exhale, full chin towards the chest, top of your head stretching down towards the floor. Hands can stay on the mat. They can hold the legs or the big toes. You decide. We'll hang for a few more moments. Just like all of our other standing forward bends, we can lean a little bit into the toes. Strong in the fronts of the legs. One more breath. Inhale, lift up your head. Exhale here, bring your hands to your waist. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Exhale here. Inhale, arms spread wide. Exhale, warrior two, bend back into that front leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right hand to the pinky toe side of the right foot, top arm reaching forward towards the front of the room. Big stretch open here. Left side is lengthening. You could be on the right fingertips or even have a block under the right hand if you need to. Breathe and hold, we're here for five. Keep putting weight into your back foot. Hold for two, three, four, and five. Gently, both hands come down. Downward facing dog, step back. Big breath in. Full breath out. Stay here or follow me through a vinyasa. 
Inhale, forward, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, the left leg lifts high. Exhale, squeeze knee towards the nose. Step forward, it's warrior one. Inhale, rise, come on up. See if your palms can press together over your head, gazing up towards your hands. Maybe a bigger bend in the front leg. Breathing deeply, strong, tall spine, big breath in. Warrior two, exhale, open yourself up. Gazing now over that front middle finger. Really active in both of the legs. Steady the breathing, one more breath here. Inhale, legs are straight. Exhale, hands to the waist. Left foot turns in, feet are parallel with each other. Let's take the hands behind the back, fingers interlaced. Take a big breath in and fold. Exhale, head comes down and arms reach high. If this doesn't feel like a safe place for your shoulders, hands can be on the mat instead. Otherwise, try to squeeze shoulder blades towards each other. Stretch all the way up and through the chest. Hold here and breathe for three. Hold here and breathe for two. One more breath. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale here. Arms wide, inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left hand to the outside of the left foot. Right arm reaches forward towards the front of the mat. We extend the side angle, right? Looking to extend the side of the body. Stretching from the outer part of the back foot all the way through the fingertips of that top hand. Breathe deeply, we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently both hands are down. Downward facing dog, step back. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Do it again, big inhale and a long exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, squeeze knee towards your nose, warrior two. Inhale, come on up. A little sense of familiarity since we've already been here before. So you can find a steady breath, focusing on the breathing as a way to quiet the mind. And just take a few moments here, nice and steady through the nose. Inhale, the legs are straight. Exhale, take your back foot in just an inch or two closer to the front foot. Inhale deeply, triangle pose. Exhale, right hand to right leg. Left arm reaches high. Gazing in the direction of your lifted hand. Lean your upper body back just a little bit. Imagine left shoulder over the right shoulder, right shoulder over the right leg. Hold here, breathe for three. For two. One, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to your waist. Leave your feet as they are, just rotate upper body to face forward. Left arm reaches high as you inhale. Exhale, revolve triangle pose. Left hand, if you're able, comes to the pinky toe side of the back, the front foot, and the right arm is high. See if you can pull back right hip just a little bit. If you feel stable, you're looking towards your lifted hand. Remember, our yoga block might help you greatly here. Try to keep both legs straight, both feet grounded if you can. Hold and breathe, we'll stay for five. Four, big twist. Three, two, and one. Both hands come down. 
back leg is high, it's standing split. Hands are on either side of that front foot, that standing leg. They could be on blocks. Treat the shape like a forward fold, folding chest and head low to the floor. Breathing one more time, lift a little higher with that lifted leg. And then gently step your leg all the way back. Find a lunge. Back knee comes to the floor. Bring your hands up onto the front thigh. And see if you can lunge yourself nice and low here. Big stretch through the front side of the back leg. You might take a little bit of a back bending leg shape here, maybe straightening through the arms, a little bit of a shoulder rolling back action. I like a little bend in my elbows personally. Let's hold here and breathe for three. Hold here for another two. One more breath. And then slowly hands come to the floor. Front leg is straight, half split. See if you can fold down chest and head over front leg. Anytime the hands are on the floor, they could be on blocks instead. Use them when you need to. If you're really mobile here, you might work towards a full split. This is as far as I can get personally. So feel free to stay right here or take it one step further if you know how. One more breath. And then we'll slowly bend into the front leg and step back, down dog split, right leg is high, knee is bent, hips are wide open. Take any little movements you'd like here, maybe rotations through that right leg, and eventually we'll meet back, downward facing dog. Take your time if you're enjoying those counter movements, stay a little longer if you'd like. We'll move through a vinyasa. Feel free to skip it. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll breathe in and out. One more time, big breath in and a long exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Warrior two. Inhale, come on up. And again, a sense of familiarity as we hold here. Setting the breath. Equal amounts of weight in both of the feet. Breathing here. Just a few more moments. Inhale, the legs are straight. Exhale, back foot wiggles just a little bit closer to the front foot. Big inhale, triangle pose. Exhale, left hand comes down and right arm reaches up high. Good, finding a steady breath here. Remember there's that leaning back sensation happening in the upper body, continuing to send some weight into that back foot. Let's hold a little longer, save for three. Two. One, inhale to rise, come on up. Hands to your waist, exhale. Chest rotates forward, try to leave your feet exactly as they are. Right arm is reaching up high as you inhale. Revolve triangle pose, exhale. Right hand comes to the outer part of that front foot. And the left arm is reaching up high. Gazing up at that lifted hand if you can. Really focus both feet so strong. Send that left hip back a little bit. Let the twist come from the shoulders. Breathe five. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently hands find the floor. The back leg lifts. Standing split. See if you can fold chest and head down. Maybe hands on either side of that standing leg. Similar to a forward fold. Breathe for three. Keep lifting. Holding for two. One more breath. And then gently we'll step back. The back knee lowers. Pausing here to get yourself set up. Eventually the hands come up to that front leg. 
I'm just looking for a big stretch through the front side of that back leg. We've done a lot of hamstring opening today, a lot of hip opening. We gotta work that front side of the leg open a bit too here. Let's hold just a little longer, stay for another three. Holding here for another two. One more breath. And then slowly, both hands come down. That front leg is straight as we find our half split position. Front foot flexing in and up, holding chest and head up down a little bit lower. If you did anything different than where we are on this side, then the first side, go ahead and find some consistency here. Repeat whatever you did before. One more breath. And slowly we'll bend that front leg and step back. Down dog split, left leg high. Knee is bending, hips are open. Try to do whatever you did on the first side. Little movements here to open yourself all the way up. And eventually we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Remember you can stay right here in your down dog or we'll take it through a vinyasa. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. We'll breathe in. And we'll breathe out. Inhale, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, bring your head up, gaze forward. Exhale and fold, head down. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms reaching high. And exhale, arms come by your sides. Good, so we'll do a little balancing today. If you're like me and you're pretty close to a wall in front of you, you might just step back a little bit. Otherwise, you can just stay right where you are. This next posture is one of my favorite standing balances. It's called Upita Hasta Parangvistasana. Standing hand to toe pose is what we call it in English. And it's a good one. <clears throat> standing on your left leg, left hand is on your left waist. Start to bring your right foot a little bit forward out in front of you. We wanna think about using strength in the belly to find a lift in the leg. And if at any point, what I'm cueing to doesn't feel appropriate, you can find this shape here just holding your knee. Otherwise, see if you can follow along with me. We're gonna inhale right leg high, reach forward, catch the big toe, exhale here, stand very tall. Try to keep both legs straight if you need a little bend in your standing leg, or your lifted leg rather, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll stay here for five. Lock your eyes in some unmoving place, four, three, two, one. Slowly open, right leg out to the right. If you feel stable here, take your gaze over to the left. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pause. Hands to your waist, leg stays high, toes are pointed, breathe. One, this is the best part. Two, try to stand up all the way. Three, four, five. Both feet are down. Wasn't that incredible? Let's try that on the other side. <clears throat> Standing on the right leg. Remember, at any point you could not be holding the foot and just be simply holding the knee with the leg bent. Left leg comes forward. Think about finding that lift. Thigh muscle comes into the hip socket, this lift up through the belly that helps you find that action. Inhale, leg lifts, catch the foot. Exhale, pause here. Breathing steady, we'll hold for five. Feels like you're pointing your big toe. Four, like you're curling it around your fingers. Three, stand a little taller. Two, one, slowly we'll open. Left leg comes out to the left. Maybe you take your gaze over to the right, breathe five, four, three, two, one, inhale, center, exhale, weight, 
hands to your waist, keep that leg high, breathe. Squeeze your belly, breathe one, two, isn't this incredible? Three, four, five, release. So amazing, great job. Join me at the top of the mat, arms by the sides. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Plank pose, exhale, step back. Bring your feet together here if you can. Really strong in the arms, rolling to the left side, side plank. Feet are flexed, gaze is up. Hold for five, four, three, big breaths, two, one, right hand down, pause in your plank pose, try the other side, right hand down, left arm up, gazing if you can, up towards that lifted hand for five, four, three, two, one, both hands are down, Find your plank pose, take a deep breath in. Hold your exhale out. Up dog, inhale, chest is lifted. Down dog, exhale, hips are high. Breathing deeply in and fully out. Bring yourself forward into a seat, step or hop forward and sit down. And let's lay down on our backs. We'll set up for a couple back bends. If you practice with me often, then you might know that this is one of my favorite parts of the practice. I love back bending. So we'll start with bridge pose. If you feel like you wanna to work towards wheel pose today, your choice is always yours. Otherwise you can keep a simple bridge pose in your practice, totally up to you. To get started, let's have the arms by the sides. Remember, if you have any concerns ever about any yoga pose, especially back bends, if they feel dangerous, unsafe to you for any reason, just sit this part of the practice out. You can always try it in some future practice. If you're ready, let's begin. Inhale, lift, hips come off of the floor. You can have arms by your sides. You can have hands interlacing under your back, or you can have your hands holding your ankles and having your hips lifting really high. Let's hold for five. Four, when in doubt, just keep your arms by your sides and just try to lift your hips as high as you can. Two more breaths. Strong in the legs, one more breath here. And exhale, come all the way out. We'll do two more. Set up for your next round, stick with bridge, or if you know you wanna to work towards wheel, go ahead. Inhale, lift, all the way up. And we'll breathe and hold for five. Four, three, try to tilt your pubic bone up. Two, one, exhale, come down. One more time, inhale, lift, hold and breathe for five. Four, three, two, one, exhale, come all the way out. Very nice job. Join me up in a seated position. Rock your way up to a seat. Extend your legs forward. And we'll find a forward fold. I like to start with the hands and the legs and just crawl them as far forward as they can get. Holding the feet's not a requirement, but if you can get there, go ahead. Stretching out the back of the body, just a counter stretch for our back bends. See if you can go ahead and let your head hang down nice and heavy. One more breath. Slowly come all the way back up. And sit yourself in a way that you can put your toes forward. Hands are planted behind the body. The reverse of our forward fold, purple tanasana. <clears throat> in English, sometimes we call this reverse plank. 
intense stretch of the front body is what we really want to call it. Here we go. Inhale, lift up, toes towards the floor, feet squeeze together, belly squeezes in, breathe five, four, three, two, one. Gently come all the way down. Left leg stays straight, right foot comes to the inner thigh. Johnny Shirshasana A, fold forward, arms reaching for that left leg. Go ahead and fold, head towards that long leg. And take just a few moments here, deep breathing. One more breath. And come all the way up. Plant your right hand behind your body, leaning onto that right shin, that's the bent leg. Send yourself high, left arm reaching towards the back of the room, front foot pressing firmly into the mat. One more breath. And gently come down, nice job. Let's try the other side. Right leg is long, left leg is in, Janu Shashasana, starting with that folded forward action. Reach your arms for your long leg, drop your chest and head down. Just take a few more breaths. You might notice that over time, your head comes closer to your long leg. Try not to better worry about where it is today. One more breath. Come all the way up. Left hand plants behind you, setting up for gate pose, leaning into that left shin, right arm stretching towards the back of the room. Front foot pressing all the way to the floor if you can, stretching through that right side body. Maybe opening slightly a big chest opener. One more breath. And then slowly come all the way down. Stay here, legs crossed, or join me for a vinyasa. Inhale for plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll breathe in and out through the nose. Slowly come forward and find a seat. We'll transition to lay down on our backs. And see if you can sort of make this a really active Shavasana-like position, which means the legs are together instead of flopping open. And see if you can either flex or point the toes. Hands resting on top of the thighs, Palms facing down, arms are straight, legs are active, belly squeezes in. As you inhale, take your right leg lifted high, catch your right big toe if you can. If you can't, just hold behind your right thigh or calf muscle. And start to exhale, lift up, chest and head towards your lifted leg. Breathe and hold for five, similar to one that we found that balancing posture. Four, right, same kind of shape. Three, two, one. Inhale, bring your head down. Keep your leg, exhale, open it. Right leg towards the right. Left hand stays on the left thigh. Maybe turn your head, look left. Breathe five. Four, keep your left leg really active. Three, point or flex the toes. Two, one. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Exhale, lift, chest and head towards the leg. Inhale, head to the floor. Exhale, both legs down. Resume positions, legs together, hands on top of the thighs, strong belly muscles. We'll try the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, catch the foot or leg. Exhale, squeeze in, bring your head up towards the lifted leg. And hold here and breathe for five. Stretch the right fingertips further down the leg, four, Three, two, one, inhale, head comes down, exhale, leg opens, left leg out to the left, gaze over to the right if you can, and we'll hold here for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, bring yourself all the way up. 
One more time, exhale, lift up, head towards the leg. Inhale, head comes down. And exhale, both legs find the floor. Great job, knees are bent, feet are planted. Take a little bit of a sway of the legs from side to side. And then knees pull in towards the chest. Rock yourself up into a seated position. We'll try one more really active posture today before we start to slow things down a bit. If you feel like you can't do anything else and you're ready to relax, certainly feel free to stay seated or you can rest on your back. If you wanna do one more thing here with me, let's find dolphin pose together. We'll serve as our inversion today. We've done a lot to strengthen the shoulders and our side planks. <clears throat> so hopefully you feel prepared to join with me for this last little push of energy. Interlace your hands together if you can. Elbows are no wider than the shoulders. Tuck your toes, take your knees up off the floor. Walk your feet in up towards the hands as close as you can get them. And take your right leg lifted high. Stretch high up onto the tiptoes of that left foot and breathe for five. Four, head is not on the mat. Three, but you're looking at your standing leg. Two, one, both feet are down. Left leg is high, lift to those right tippy toes and hold for five, four, belly is strong, three, two, one, both feet down so you can walk your feet in a little bit closer, stay here or head to the mat and legs to the sky, force your shasana, feet could stay on the floor in your dolphin pose for the next ten. Find your place, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring yourself out. Child's pose for all, knees to the mat, and arms by the sides. Relax your head and your shoulders. Find a steady breath. Rest a little longer or join me for one more vinyasa today. Hands planting, inhale for plank pose, exhale, chaturanga, inhale for upward facing dog, and exhale back for downward facing dog. Breathing in if you're in down dog, breathing out, finding a seat, come forward and sit down. If you're in child's pose, join us there. And we'll just find an easy seat, legs gently crossed. If you can get safely into Padmasana Lotus Pose, you might pull your right leg in first and then bring your left leg on top, sitting comfortable in this cross-legged shape. Otherwise, just a regular position like so. I recommend one foot in front of the other rather than on top for this next position. We'll take our arms behind the back. See if your hands can be holding opposite elbows, quite literally. We're squeezing shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in, squeeze your belly. Exhale, hinge forward. Maybe head comes to the mat. If not, lift your head hang in the air. And just a couple breaths here, inhale. And exhale, eyes are open. Few more times, big breath in, long exhale, keep breathing. One more breath. Slowly come all the way up and extend your arms to be straight. 
Let your palms face up towards the ceiling. Backs of your hands facing down, palms facing up. Tuck your pointer fingers under your thumbs. Send your other three fingers to the floor. Find lots of length through the belly. Sitting up really tall with the spine, a little tuck of the chin towards the chest, drop your eyes down towards your chest or maybe at the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Even slower than we've done all practice. Big breath in, long exhale. A few more times, big inhale. And exhale. Keep breathing. One more time, big breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, lift up your head. Exhale, bring hands to press together in front of the heart. Close your eyes. Take a moment to reflect on your practice experience today. Take a moment to notice how your mind and feel, body feel now compared to how they felt at the beginning of practice. Noticing any similarities, any differences. Finding ways to observe yourself without judgment. Simple observation practice. To close our practice, we'll chant the sound of OM together one more time. Join with me if you can. Prepare with a big breath in. joining me for practice today. I hope to see you again soon. Before you get off your mat, let's rest in Shavasana. Find your way to a reclined position, arms by your sides, legs long. Let your feet and your arms really relax, flopping open, relaxing all muscles in the body. Find a slow and steady breath. Inhaling, exhaling natural yet purposeful through the nose. And see if you can count 50 of your own breaths. And staying here in this relaxed state for at least that amount of time, feel welcome to stay longer if you're enjoying the rest. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.